Hey everybody, in this video today we're going to learn about angle pairs formed by a transversal and I apologize if I'm not being myself, I'm a little upset. Somebody stole my Microsoft Office. They're going to pay though. You have my word. Okay, um, a transversal. T, line T here is the transversal. We call a transversal a line that intersects two coplanar lines. So we have line B and line A, and T is the transversal because it is intersecting here and here. It's intersecting these two coplanar lines at distinct points. All right, now what it creates, a transversal is going to create one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different angles. And we have specific names that we call angle pairs that are formed by a transversal. So the one thing I want you to notice right away, I'm going to be using a lot of colors today. Okay, so in green here, I'm going to mark four, I'm going to mark three, I'm going to mark six, and I'm going to mark five. One thing you should notice about all of those angles that I just marked is that they are in the interior of line A, B. They're in the inside. So if I'm going to say here are those two lines and I go inward, all four of those angles are inside. So those are interior angles, interior, inside. Now our exterior angles can be marked with blue here, 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 and here. So if you were asked, what are my interior angles? You would say three, four, five, and six. But then if we go to those two lines and we go outward, outside of them, those are going to be 1, 2, 7, and 8, exterior. One way that you can kind of determine this is by drawing, I like to tell my students to just draw a dashed line here and kind of make like a box. Okay, inside the box is 5, 6, 4, and 3. Outside the box is 7, 8, 1, and 2, interior and exterior. Okay. So now that we have an understanding of what's interior and exterior angles, because those words are going to come into play when we start talking about angle pairs, we want to look at what we see as alternate. Alternate means to switch, and alternate interior angles would mean to switch sides of the transversal. So right here I'm erasing everything except for one pair of alternate interior angles, four and five. Four and five are alternate interior angles because four is on the right side of the transversal while five is on the left side. It is alternating from right to left and they are in the interior. So one type of pair that you would be asked about are alternate interior angles. Next, alternate Exterior, that's right, it is literally that simple. You're going to need one angle on the right side of the transversal and one angle on the left side of the transversal, but these ones are going to need to be outside, exterior angles. So let's go with one, that's the angle we have on the left of the transversal, and let's go outside and eight. Eight and one are alternate, one's on the left, one's on the right, exterior angles and what else do we need to deal with we need to know what our corresponding angles are so let me write down alternate exterior okay we got alternate interior alternate exterior these are what you need to study these are what you need to memorize okay just know what they mean but also know what they're called Okay, now corresponding angles. This is a tricky one for kids. Now, if I were to just draw a circle, just like that, you've got a top right, a top left, a bottom left, and a bottom right. Same thing up here. If you were to draw a circle, you're going to have a top right, top left, bottom left, bottom right. So if you were to just color those different colors, I'll use green, pink, blue, and orange here. Two, let's color that one green. Its corresponding angle is also going to be in the top right corner, 6. Now, if I were to color in orange, 
for angle one, which is, in other words, my top left angle, its corresponding angle would be five, the top left corner. Let's go bottom left, seven. Corresponding angle to seven is three, the one that's also down in the bottom left. And then last but not least, in pink, let's go bottom right angle, eight. Corresponding angle to eight would be angle four. So you need to know alternate interior, alternate exterior. You need to know corresponding. angles. And to finish today's lesson out, let's just ask a couple of questions. Can you give me a set of alternate interior angles? That's something you'll be asked on a homework assignment. Okay, can you give me a set of alternate interior angles? Okay, let me erase all this real quick. And they might ask you to mark it on the image. They might ask you to give the angle number. However they ask you, just think about what those words mean. Those, wor those words in the title are really dead giveaways. All right, interior, exterior, that tells you inside or outside, outside, okay? If I said, hey, mark an alternate interior angle pair, I'd say, let's go to the left side of the transversal, inside. Let's go to the right side of the transversal, inside. And there are my two angles. No, 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 Mr. Bielek, don't mark an alternate interior, mark an alternate exterior. Okay, let's go to the left side of the transversal, mark that angle on the outside, and go to the right side of the transversal, mark that angle on the outside. No, 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 Mr. Bielek, we don't want you to mark alternate exterior angles. I want you to mark corresponding angles. Corresponding angles, okay. Think about this, the area in which they're placed. Top right, top left, bottom left, bottom right. That's the best way to go about these. Top right, top left, bottom left, bottom right. Top right, okay, let's mark top right. And let's mark the other top right. Now the cool thing about understanding one, two, and three angle pairs, is that you're probably in your geometry class about to jump into the next section. And we're gonna go from just regular coplanar lines to special ones that are called parallel. Yeah, you've dealt with parallel lines before. Those are lines that will never intersect. They're gonna go parallel with one another, okay? And when we have a transversal that cuts two parallel lines, the things that we know, oh, it's amazing, okay? We're about to jump into that. so. Hopefully you stick around and catch up on my next video because I'll talk to you about what happens when these lines are parallel and the things that we know. Good luck on your upcoming test. Study hard. See you soon.